In this final episode of the Jamalon Scotland series, we go a little off-piste, diverting from the NC500 to visit the stunning Isle of Skye off Scotland's west coast, before heading back to Edinburgh via Glencoe. This area of the Highlands is particularly captivating, and it's no surprise that it's been used as a backdrop for so many cinema classics. For example, we'll all be familiar with the Hogwarts Express shots in Harry Potter and the iconic Glencoe Valley in Skyfall. And of course, we can't forget. But they'll never take our freedom! But you may not know that blockbusters such as Transformers, Snow White, Prometheus and King Arthur have all had scenes shot here. There's even a scene from Avengers Infinity Wars that was rumoured to have been shot in Portree. I am Iron Man! <laughs> this is what we have to deal with. <laughs> Well, what superhero would you be if you're a superhero? You'd be Groot. I am <laughs> So sit back, relax and join us on our epic film tour in this final episode of the Jamalon Scotland series. Hello, I'm James. This is Jake and this is Paul. Together we make up Jamalon. Three mates documenting our travels, childish humour, and constant mishaps as we desperately try to avoid becoming grown-ups. <laughs> In the first of our mini travel series, we embark on Scotland's iconic North Coast 500 road trip. In the middle of winter, three idiots, no planning, really cold in here, and one tiny camper van. <laughs> no! What could possibly go wrong? Cheers. He's going for it. So we set off at sunrise around the Isle of Skye with our friend slash tour guide slash babysitter, Erin. Our first stop, the 40 minute hike to the old man of store. Visiting Skye in winter meant we had the entire store to ourselves as we hiked to the top. And the closer we got, the more alien it became. And it wasn't hard to see why it was used in Hollywood movies such as Prometheus, and Michael Bay's Transformers. Breakfast at the Poor Tree Hotel this morning. And then to one of the most incredible sights I've ever seen. I think that any of us have ever seen. Look at that alien. Good evening. Well, that was a bloody brilliant hike, wasn't it? Oh, hello. And now it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I have been demoted to the back of the van. <laughs> Paul is driving. James is flying the drone. Erin is the tour guide, and I'm looking after the bags. With Jake and his dad jokes in the back, we headed to our next stop, the famous Kilt Rock waterfall. As James packed away our last remaining drone, I decided to teach Erin the kazoo. But like, don't, don't, it's more like you purse your lips a bit. <laughs> Which meant James wasn't receiving any attention. Mine's not working. <laughs> and to that gorgeous soundtrack, we continued our journey, making our way up the hairpin bend towards the centre of the island and to another incredible view. The Kerrang. The 
immense scale of this place makes it a must-see when visiting Sky. Formed by a massive landslide creating the sheer cliff faces, hidden plateaus and pinnacles of rock, it features in blockbusters such as Stardust, King Arthur and Transformers. With Erin being such an amazing tour guide so far, I decided to sing her one of Scotland's favourite songs. One of the downsides to visiting Scotland in midwinter is the short days, so at 3.30pm, Five hours after our sunrise hike, it was time for sunset beers, overlooking the charming village of Idrigal. Well, at this point it turns out that we forgot to turn the microphone on, so not entirely sure what's happening here. There's Jake and Erin, they have clinked their beers, out there I am, must have heard something interesting. We have had a lovely day, oh look, Jake has spat his drink all over Erin's shoe, but uh, he's cleaning it up, so that's very good of him. Ha 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 ha, aren't we having a lovely time? Jake's telling a funny story again. <laughs> Jake, I wonder what it's about. It looks very animated. I'm sure it's a banger. Well, there we are again. Cheers. We've had a lovely day. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. We were up bright and early the next day and treated ourselves to a delicious Scottish breakfast at the Portree Hotel, where Jake burnt his tongue. I'm too hot. <laughs> and Paul had trouble with the menu. What'd you go for, Paulo? I went for the vegetarian breakfast, but it wasn't an easy choice, James. I'll tell you that much for nothing. <laughs> I just went for it's going to be the biggest, but we've got a big day of exploring ahead of us. Sadly, it was the last day of our road trip, and we were heading to Glencoe on the final stretch of the journey. Heading to Glencoe on the final stretch of the journey. Welcome to Behind the Scenes with Paulie Laws. Hello, I'm Paulie Laws. Are you driving today? Behind the Scenes. Get one crack at it. If I were you, James, I'd like go straight up the river, kind of almost up that way. Okay, you can go then. The landscape here is breathtakingly wild and sets the backdrop for one of Britain's most iconic films. Which leads us to our next blockbuster location, the famous Scottish MI6 headquarters in James Bond. Unfortunately, Pierce wasn't home, which meant our attention naturally fell back to Lord of the Rings, of which not a single scene was filmed in Scotland. Are we driving through Scotland or Middle Earth? <laughs> I guess there is such a thing as too much kazoo. But don't worry, it'll be back soon to celebrate a huge milestone. Wow! A thousand miles, baby! We're not in time. But we drove a thousand miles on the North Coast 500. But we didn't do it twice, we just did a long version. None of us questioned how we'd managed to drive 1,000 miles on the North Coast 500. I guess we were all too excited for our next film stop. Potter fans, you're in for a treat. Jake, where are we? So for all you Harry Potter geeks out there, like myself, uh, we are standing in the area where Hagrid's hut was built. And if you look over there to those rocks, that's where Hermione ended up seeing herself when she went back in time using the time turn. Really, what my hair looks like from the back. Come on, Amy. What? I thought 
I just saw. Never mind. And over there is where Ron, Hermione, and Harry ran down to come and try and save Buckby. <laughs> Bellatrix Lestrange famously setting this hut on fire. And then, oh, and Harry and Snape had their little battle here. Take the centre! And he was like, come back! You coward, fight back! And he was like, don't, don't call, call me a coward! I'm the half-blood prince. I am the half-blood prince. <laughs> Harry. Oh, mate, this is sick. Hagrid's hut. This is very, very cool. Right there, Harry. I should not have said that. I should not have said that. We could have spent the whole day recreating scenes from one of our favourite series, but with it being the last day, I had a flight to catch. Right. <laughs> James lost his drone, ran out of battery, it landed somewhere on this road. I've got about three hours to get to the airport. We're about three and a half hours away from the airport, so... Oh, he's got it. He's got it. That's so lucky. Okay. Find it. Yeah, I had like eight seconds left on the battery. <laughs> it was just hovering above the stream. I was like, ah! <laughs> Thank God, eh? It's all kicking off on the last day in Glencoe. Yep, even though we had a full eight days to complete the journey, we were chasing the clock to get me to the airport. Still, there's always enough time for some Highland coup shots, and certainly, no need to stress. Oh, honestly, Paul, you're going to miss your flight. Whoa, magnificent creatures. We don't have time! Ah, so peaceful. Dad, get in the f***ing car! Coup content captured, and I was back to the airport just in time for my flight. <laughs> As we set our teary farewells, we reflected back on what a trip it had been. I'm going to miss I think if he'd have asked any of us beforehand whether a mid-January Scotland road trip was on the bucket list, the answer would have probably been no. But as we headed back south to London, we couldn't help but feel a little sad that our eight-day adventure around this beautiful country had finally drawn to a close. It's strangely hard to put into words what made the trip so special. For example, it would be all too easy to talk about the incredible history, the great hiking, and the stunning landscapes. But there was more to it than that. I think it was partly due to visiting at such an unusual time of year. It's a bit cold. And that, whilst this certainly presented some challenges, short days, closed attractions, and sometimes brutal weather, this is ridiculous. we discovered a sort of charm, an almost schoolboy feeling of adventure, setting off each day with what felt like the entire of Scotland to ourselves. From the fun activities Yo! and silly games Stupid fire. to the amazing locals we met along the way. Even the strange stories which spooked us at the time oh, my heart's going, oh. became part of what made this our own little adventure. It feels like, as humans, we have a tendency to overcomplicate things. We feel like the grass is always greener somewhere else. In fact, I'm sure these new challenges we're facing in the world right now are partly due to people thinking that flying halfway across the globe is the only way to unwind. We've fallen into a trap of air miles and expensive cocktails. Fast Wi-Fi, but a lack of real connection. And we seem to have lost that sense of freedom. That almost foolish feeling 
that comes with the uncertainties of the open road. And that's exactly what Scotland was for us, a rekindling of that pioneering spirit. A reminder that there's a certain beauty in the simple things in life. Three mates, living in a van, what a spacious boudoir. <laughs> following a road. Across one of the most beautiful landscapes in the world. In our next mini Jamalon series, we head east to Vietnam. And in true Jamalon style, we have a calming, uneventful, and accident free holiday. This is 100% where it ends for us. The drone's gone for a little swim. Paul has been riding along, and the key to his bike has fallen out. Guys, before you go, thank you so much for joining. If you could click like below, that would be fantastic. And subscribe. Scotland has been amazing. Vietnam is on the way. Please click subscribe. Thank you.